Hi boys and girls, welcome to lesson four of our distance learning. Today we're going to work on strengthening the right side of our brain. You might remember that we did that before when we drew our fish and they were in the envelope and we didn't know what we were drawing. So remember that we have two sides of our brain, the left side and the right side. The left side of our brain is responsible for things like math, science, logic, and the right side of our brain is the creative side of our brain. But for most of us, the left side of the brain is kind of in charge, he's kind of the boss. And, but here's the cool thing. When the left side of the brain doesn't know what's going on, because he really likes to know what's going on, um, he kind of takes a back seat and he says, hey, I don't know what's happening here, I'm out of here. And the right side of the brain says, I got this, I'm gonna take over. So today, that's what we're going to do. We're going to draw something that we don't know what it is. We do, don't know what's in this envelope. We're going to just draw the lines and the shapes that we see. The left side of the brain is going to take a hike. The right side of the brain is going to say, I've got this. I can see shapes and I can see lines and I'm going to draw those lines and shapes that I see. So that's what we're going to do. It's going to help strengthen the right side of our brain so that it we become better artists. We start to see things differently. So I'm going to do this with a Sharpie just so that you can see what I'm doing. So if I make a mistake, I'm not going to be able to erase it. But if you have a pencil, I'd like you to use a pencil when you do it. That way you can erase if you make a mistake, okay? So I have a picture in here and I'm just going to pull it out a little bit at a time. And I want you to find a picture at home that you can do also. You don't have to have an envelope to put it in. Just cover it up with another piece of paper, with a book, with whatever you have around that will cover it up, okay? We're just going to pull it out a little bit at a time and just draw the lines and the shapes that we see. And then we're gonna be wowed at the drawing that we create. So I'm going to just pull this out a little bit so I can start to see what I've got here. And I can see just a curve. It's down at this part of the page and it's over here on the left side. So I'm gonna draw it where I see it, the size I see and where I see it. So I just see this curve. So I'm gonna make a curve right about there. My Sharpie looks like it's a little bit dried out. I should have tried it first. I'm going to pull that down a little bit more. This is kind of going this way. This has a curve that's kind of coming like that. I see a little circle here. As I'm drawing, I don't want to give anything a name because if I give it a name, then my left brain kind of wants to take over. So I'm going to say things like there's a V, there's a curve, there's a circle. I don't want my left brain to take over and think that it knows what it, it's what I'm drawing here. So I see another curve line that's kind of going around like that. This is curving sort of up. And then I see right here kind of where this circle is. I've got kind of a line like that. And then it's kind of coming around and curving over to here. I've got lots and lots of curves. Let me keep Pull that out a little bit more. Now this is ending down and coming to a V and then coming up back like that. Got a little squiggle line right there and then another line that kind of comes like that. This line is curving that direction and like that. Back down some more now. Okay, kind of just a long line there going down. Oh, now this is going to come down and it's curving up. Now I'm not, even if I think I know what it is, I'm not going to say it because I don't want my left brain to take over. I just keep drawing the curves and the shapes that I'm seeing. curve kind of comes around and down and then I see just a line coming here and another line here. I mostly I just want to draw those kind of outside lines. This is kind of a jaggy line there that comes up and then I see another jaggy line there and then kind of comes over here to a sideways V there. And these keep going down, straight lines. Let's see, like, there's a line right there. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. What did I draw? Does it look like a flamingo? <laughs> I think it does. He's standing in the water and I can see the, the shadow right there, but um, it pretty much looks like a flamingo, doesn't it? So then I can get markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever I have, and color it, or I can just leave it like this. So what I would like you to do is have somebody find a picture for you so you don't know what it is. Cover it up, pull it out a little at a time, and just draw what you see. If you already know what it is, then the left side of your brain takes over and thinks it knows how to draw it. The right side of your brain is seeing what's really there. Um, so a really fun thing to do would be for everybody in your family to find a picture, cover it up, and give it to somebody else. And everybody draw different pictures and see what you get, okay? That would be super fun. And then the next day, swap pictures and see what kind of art you guys create. I think that you'll love it. You're gonna really strengthen the right side of your brain and the more you do this, the better artist you will become. You will get much, much better at drawing. So keep trying it, find all kinds of things, turn them upside down, and then gradually have them upside right and look at them and see how you can do it drawing them that way, okay? I think you're going to have a lot of fun with it. If you have a chance to post your pictures so that I can take a look at them and your classroom teacher can see them, please do it. Boys and girls, I hope that you're strong and healthy, that you're exercising, reading, playing, loving your family. Um, I miss you, I love you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, boys and girls.